a bit of an aggressive title. It's not a question directed at you. It's actually a question directed at me. Hello, sir. As a business owner in an artistic space, the past few years have been pretty difficult. Also, I'm not just trying to trend hop and get you to follow me on Vero. Watch the end to figure out what this is actually about. It's not about that. Instagram is big. It has its problems. I've witnessed these problems firsthand in the death of MySpace, the spam, the scams, and most importantly, the disconnection of a tight group of people that lived through a great shared interest. Emo, screamo, metal, and pop punk. But we're not here to talk about a panic at the disco reunion tour. Let's keep going. These are some of the problems that I currently have as a 30-something wedding photographer. You're not gonna pan out? Oh, I didn't. Hi. As a 30-something photographer, I have to be creating work that appeals to a generation 10 years younger than me. I have to be creating work for a generation that I'm no longer a part of. Otherwise, 10 years from now, I'm not gonna have any work. This also goes for social media, where I have to go to where the future audience is, and that could mean going to a different app or simply different styles of content. This is something that goes far beyond just what you put on your website. When your hobby becomes your business and you still enjoy your hobby, it becomes your life. The reason Instagram is failing is because in its glory day, it was centered around brag culture, G-Wagon culture. Check out my trip to Iceland culture. We're too cool to go on a boring beach vacation culture. And your audience was a slightly disconnected group of people that you met maybe five, 10 years ago. I think it's pretty rare for an average Instagram user to see that a friend is in Iceland and be genuinely happy for them. After years of watching those people have better lives than you, it really does grind you down. Snakes. The real reason that TikTok ate Instagram's lunch is because TikTok is an interest-based platform rather than a brag-based platform. Instead of brag culture, it is to entertain me culture. The feeling that you get as a user is enjoyable and it is more challenging for the creator, but also more rewarding. Interest-based social media, that is the shift. They throw you a top performing Formula One video that is popular with an F1 audience. And you watch it, and then they give you a few more. It learns what you enjoy, and it creates a curated experience to keep you on the app. Instagram is now trying to bring this in and showing you content from people you don't know. And in some cases, your feed is actually primarily people you don't know. And this is being met with rejection from the people that don't want Instagram to change. This is why it's so difficult to make any changes at Facebook, because their core audience of power users is now much older, and power users don't want any change. Now, a great example of this is I watched BJ Novak's new film called Vengeance last night. And there's a scene with Ashton Kutcher who's asking BJ Novak, what kind of music do you enjoy? Who's your favorite artist right now? BJ Novak doesn't really know how to answer. And he says, I bet you're a playlist guy. That's what Ashton Kutcher says. And what that means is you've given a computer your favorites and it suggested a few other songs and it's picked your favorites from that. And now you're listening to a playlist and you love the music, you genuinely enjoy the music. However, you don't know who the artist is. And Ashton Kutcher's point in that scene is you're just having your own voice echoed back to you. And how do you fall in love? Maybe that last line's a little out of context here, but I hope you enjoyed the story anyways. As photographers, we kind of take it as a personal attack that Instagram no longer prioritizes the photography crowd. And what that means is that niche interest apps like Vero are going to take over. Companies that don't have to play to the masses to be successful. Or if they try to, they will erode their core user audience and similar to what we've seen happen with Instagram. Putting on my VC hat for a moment. To put additional pressure on this, when tech companies take capital, investors want to see you hockey stick into a rocket ship unicorn or fail pretty quickly. Board seats also push companies in weird directions. Investors want to see money back. So if a company has raised a few big rounds, they're under some alternative pressures that you might not think about. But not us at Garage Capital. We're the good guys. Thumbs up. A company like Vero, that to my knowledge hasn't raised any capital and they've bootstrapped everything, they are a lot more in control of their product. The founders, they, they actually dictate what the product is and what it will become. Bringing it back to Instagram, Instagram, is a little bit too big to care about photographers and just photography, they kind of want to bully you into creating something that is more pleasing for their general audience. So they're not looking for you to be successful with other photographers, for other photographers to give you their admiration and respect. They want you to create marketing assets and ways to keep other more general users on the platform so they can make more money. Simple as that. So you can either play that game or you don't have to. People have been looking at pretty pictures on Instagram for like 10 years now. And the general audience is pretty bored of it. Instagram does have to progress in order to keep people's attention. Let's do an example here on YouTube. 
It, 10 years ago, you uploaded a video of your normal everyday life. You didn't have to do anything and you'll probably get 10,000 views. Maybe you get 100,000 views. Now you upload the same daily life video. If it doesn't have a specific hook as a title and a thumbnail, people aren't gonna watch it and people aren't gonna be interested and retained throughout the entire video. So the idea is that you have to create something valuable, but we're gonna finish this thought in a moment. Train. But now the question is, who is your audience? If it's other photographers, maybe Vero is a good place. Greetings. You'll find a community there, a place of belonging. It feels nice. If it's potential paying clients, couples, throuples, or just people that are gonna pay you money in order to do work, you might have to play a bit of a different game. One that's not just for you. Rather than brag culture, you have to reframe it. You don't have to dance for people or do dumb skits. As a business owner, you can reframe it into how can I help you culture? That sounds too like, but it's the idea. When you're creating content on any platform, what can you do to create that content? We'll go, let's go somewhere. Wow, it's gonna be a remarkable photograph taken by every 14 year old. But now it's on, so it's still 400D. So remember, if the film's the reason for the project. Project is already a failure. I don't know what that means, but. So when you're creating any content on any platform, how can you help just one person with that content? When you're regularly showing the value of what you create, the dollars will start to find you. Yeah, I'll come down. Oh, he came up. That's how you get people to genuinely care about your work. You create something that actually helps them. So what game are you playing? One to belong to a certain community? Or is that game more skewed to you actually making a living with photography? Either way, creating content that is truly valuable and helpful for that audience is the best way to get them to care about your work. So go out, create something that truly matters. So we all stare at enough crap every day. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn the bell on, because our most useless crap of probably the entire channel is coming out on Wednesday. So, yeah, there's that. Goodbye. Oh, I'm still here. Photography and pizza, together at last. I think these are photos that I missed at my mom. Sony Alpha Orange. Flaming hot Cheetos, your crust. Then that pizza comes out, it's hot, you open it up. What a feeling. Wild hogs? Wild, Wild hogs. hogs baby. I'm devastated.